I mean, going back to the coding itself, in, in your articles you've talked about the differences between descriptive and interpretive coding. Yeah. Can you explain what you mean by that? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, a, again, a common <coughs> distinction in thematic analysis in general. Um, and there are quite a lot of approaches which make that an explicit distinction. So first you do the descriptive coding, and this is where you simply try to put in your own words, in a sense, in a way that slightly clarifies what's there in the text. So, so, it, you, know, so you might describe somebody saying, you know, I might have a descriptive code that's about nature makes me feel free. So you might put nature, freedom of nature or something like that. Mm -hmm. but, but there's no attempt to sort of interpret what they might be doing by that, what, what, what might be in, in some sense, a, you know, a psychological factor or psychological attribute behind it or a sociological or, what, or you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Whereas m more interpretive codes are, 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 and coding is usually, you know, talking about kind of reading between the lines a bit and, and trying to make some leap from just what they've said to something further. I, 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 in template analysis, you, you, there isn't an explicit def distinction between descriptive and interpretive. So you don't have, like, descriptive codes at the bottom and interpretive ones above them. And partly that's because I think it's it's a somewhat false dichotomy. Yeah, so I'm going to ask, because I've heard you actually on the issues of description, saying that there's no such thing as mere description. Yeah, I, I like don't, that's yeah, making. yeah, I think, I think yeah. as you, you as a researcher, yeah. choosing some part of what somebody says in the interview and phrasing that as a description of some phenomenon or some aspect of a phenomenon um, is inevitably, to some extent, an interpretive act. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you're interpreting what's going on in some account you can't do that without describing something of what's going on mm -hmm. so i tend to think that, that although i can see why practically it can it can work and we use a, a very simple thematic version in first year undergraduate for example and it you know it gets it clear to them that you that when you're describing it I mean, it's this phenomenological idea of description in a sense uh, of trying to see it in afresh with all your preconceptions set aside mm -hmm. You know, it's not just saying, well, there's a table. It's kind of getting at what is, what is it that makes that a table? What, what, how many different ways can I look at it? You, know, you do that first and try not to jump to judgment. Because, of course, what people new to qualitative research often do is that they will say, oh, what's going on here is you can see that this is an attachment problem. You think, of course, you can't see that. Mm -hmm. you know, they've said that they don't get on very well with their mother. You haven't seen that. You're making interpretive judgment. You're, you're imposing all this you know, psychological mm -hmm. theory on it. We need to back that off. Uh, but I think, I think in reality, as I, as I said, that, that rather than some things being just descriptive and some just interpretive, you, you might say it's a, it's a bit of a, of, a, of a dimension in a sense. And some coding is, more con is clearly bringing more interpretive work to it. And some of it is remaining close to a description of a, 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 a retelling of what they've told mm -hmm. you. Um, but the level in the, th the hierarchy doesn't tell you much about that. You might have a very broad theme that's quite interpretive or that's quite descriptive. It's, it's more about, you know, how do you need to use the coding to address your research question at particular points yeah. in the analysis rather than separate stages. I mean, I, I, do, I do accept also that, that by not being clear about what's descriptive and what's interpretive, it can lead to people being quite confused about what they're doing. And I think this is something that, that is a potential weakness, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, for, for newcomers. And, and, and I suppose where that's a danger is if, if they then end up being too descriptive in a very shallow sense. So not the kind of descriptive we mean by, you know, you know Herman, or transcendental phenomenology or approaches like that, which is incredibly yes. rich and thorough and very different from an everyday description, yeah, okay. but they remain at a very everyday level yeah. because they haven't been explicitly told, now you do interpretation. In, in some cases, you, you read recommendations that, that in qualitative analysis of this kind, coding kind, that you should move from the descriptive to a much more theoretical Mm. possibly interpretive mm. approach. Sounds like you're saying you can keep both and have both side by side. Is yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, I think, I think inevitably, oh, well, probably not inevitably, but it ought to be the case, and hopefully most as it will be, that, that as you progress your analysis, as you build your template with the additional cases and so on, 
you get more of a coherent view of, of, of what's going on within this data set and so you become more able to either develop something that might be like a like a theoretical model in a, in a similar way to grounded theory I guess and that's certainly doable mm. within template analysis or you might be getting answers to theoretical questions if you're coming from an approach where you're in a sense being guided by a, a theory driven approach mm. uh, you know a kind of more towards the positivistic end of, of qualitative analysis and I've seen people certainly do that where they're you know using the, the further stages of, of, of the coding and the theme development to more specifically look at certain theoretical questions. Right.